Vlog coming soon, come on. Stop asking me. Alright. Vlog coming soon. Not transferring. Come on. <laughs> you coming. Yeah. Welcome to the future. Of Colorado football. Yo, what's poppin', people? Your boy Snacks back in the building with another banger. And before we get started, y'all know what we gotta do. Go ahead and hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, and don't forget to leave your comments down in the comment section so you'll know when your boy dropping this heat. Turn your post notification bell on so you'll know that. But anyway, y'all seen Carmoney. He said he ain't going nowhere. He is not transferring. He's staying right here at Colorado. So all the rumors and all the videos y'all been making about where Carmoney at, where he doing, where he going, he ain't went nowhere. He right here. Check it out. Vlog coming soon, Carmoney. Stop asking me. me. All right. Vlog coming soon. Not transferring. <laughs> now that's dope right there. Carmoney ain't going nowhere. He locked down in the building. Swole up, got faster, got bigger, got stronger, ready to get his work on. But today's video, we got to congratulate Rick George for winning. The University of Colorado Athletic Director Rick George was named Athletic Director of the Year by the National Association of Collegiate Directors of Athletics. The association announced on Wednesday. George is one of four honored in the football subdivision and one of 28 honored by the a NACDA. And that's a blessing right there. That's what I'm talking about. Rick George doing big things. George was named the sixth athletic director in CU history in 2013. With his second stint in Boulder returning 23 years after he played a role in the school's first and only national championship for the NCACDA is honored to continue the tradition of the Athletic Director of the Year and recognize a new class of individuals in 23-24, said NACDA CEO Pat Mono. <laughs> One of George's first achievements as an athletic director was spearheading the athletic complex expansion that included a long-awaited indoor practice facility and champion center. His leadership early in his career was critical in guiding CU through the 100-year flood in his first year on the job, a global pandemic, and the most tenuous era in the history of college athletics. That's what I'm talking about. In 22, he hired Dion Coach Prime Sanders as the head coach of college of uh, head coach of football, a decision that immediately put Colorado football back on the map. CU sold out his spring game, all six home games, for the first time in program's history. 11 of 12 games on the season and had five of, of the 14 most watched games in college football regular season, leading the nation in viewership until the final week of the regular season. The center of the sporting world for the first month of the football season, CU hosted Oh my God, this is crazy right here. I just <laughs> see you hosted Fox Big Noon kickoff three times in college game day once. The first pregame show appearance in Boulder in 28 years. So we got to congratulate Rick George on winning college athletic director of the year. We appreciate y'all for watching. Y'all let me know what y'all think because Rick George did a hell of a job. And the best thing he ever did was hire Coach Prime. We out. Peace. Thank you. God bless you all, man. Be safe.